She was a real artist when she was young. She was good at doing almost anything. And Jim McGorman's wife, Judith, died after a visit with neighbors. The host used ethanol to fill a fire pot, not realizing it was still burning. The gas uh, caught on fire, it went into the container, and it spewed like a flamethrower, and my wife was sitting right there. That was three summers ago. I did become very angry, very angry at the fact that this could occur, and especially when I started reading and learning about the fact that this is not new. It's called flame jetting. The Ontario Fire Marshal has released this video to warn the public. The people around, believing that the candle has gone fully out, reach for the fuel container and proceed to refill the ornament. When the new fuel is introduced, it ignites the vapors. And it's happening more often as the ethanol fireplaces and fire pots have become more popular. This Toronto doctor died in June in a similar incident with burns to 95% of her body. In August, two women were seriously injured in Toronto. They're still in hospital. And just three weeks ago, another incident injured a young woman and her baby niece. People aren't going to use these products perfectly every time. Lawyer John McLeish has launched a $14 million lawsuit against the American ethanol maker on behalf of Jim McGorman. We've got seven cases in the office. And, and, and involving ethanol. And involving ethanol, blowtorch incidences where someone was badly injured or killed. Jim McGorman and others affected by these devices have banded together to pressure Health Canada to take action. There should be a moratorium on the sale of these uh, fireplaces. Manufacturers argue that the devices are safe as long as they're operated and fueled properly. The company facing that $14 million lawsuit tells CBC News it's no longer active in the business. Diane Buckner, CBC News, Peterborough, Ontario. And just tonight, Health Canada issued a warning over the fire pots and ethanol fuels, acknowledging the serious fire and burn risks. It says the products should not be used without the appropriate safety features.